you can take this physics practical notebook either from the publisher or ilmi book depot urdu bazar lahore or free downloading from my website experiment 9 in the practical notebook left side page of same experiment good afternoon students today we will perform an experiment that will show us the relationship between current passing through a tungsten filament and the potential difference applied across this tungsten filament okay this is the circuit diagram of this experiment here we have this tungsten filament voltmeter applied across this tungsten filament ammeter for measuring the current this is a potential divider made from a rio scan this shows the power supply this is a variable power supply here this is a plug key which will turn on and off the circuit and this is a rio scan so this makes whole a potential divider circuit which will change the potential difference across this now we have complete circuit developed from the discrete components we have a variable power supply its value is from 0 to 15 volt its positive terminal is connected to the rheostat other terminal of the rheostat that is connected with the plug key the other terminal of plug key is connected with the negative terminal of the battery and in this way this makes a potential divider circuit with the help of rheostat this lower terminal of this rheostat is connected with the positive terminal of this tungsten filament this terminal of the tungsten filament is connected with the negative terminal of the ammeter the positive terminal of ammeter is connected with the sliding contact of rheostat this voltmeter is connected parallel to the tungsten lamp now with the help of this circuit we will take the reading of tension difference and electric current we will turn on this plug key and then with the help of this rheostat we will take the reading from the voltmeter and the ammeter in the beginning when the tension difference is small this electric lamp will not glow this tungsten filament will not glow as soon as we will increase the tension difference this tungsten filament starts glowing so here its temperature will increase and this will not to be ohms now now that's why you say the tungsten filament does not to be the ohms now because in this case the temperature does not to be same with the help of this operators we have taken three readings as shown on the white board now with the help of tension divider circuit we fixed the voltage as 0.5 volt the corresponding current that was 3 ampere and here resistance is equal to v over i that is equal to 1.66 similarly when we plot the voltage to 1 volt the current in the ammeter that was 0.5 ampere and here the ratio of voltage and current is 2.0 then we increase the voltage up to 2 volt and the corresponding value of current is 0.7 ampere and the ratio of voltage to the current that is 2.85 since here the resistance does not remains constant because temperature does not remain constant that's why here the ratio of v over i is not constant that means here tungsten filament does not obey ohms law since we have to show this relationship between the current passing through the tungsten filament and the potential difference applied across it with the help of a graph so we require more readings complete set of readings is given on page 183 of the practical manual 
Now, with the help of set of readings taken earlier, we will plot the graph between current and tension difference applied across the tungsten filament. And here we will take V along x axis and I along y axis. Since in tungsten filament temperature does not remain constant, here I will not be directly proportional to V. That means this tungsten filament does not obey Ohm's law and hence we will not get a straight line, rather we will get a curved graph. While starting this experiment, students you should keep in mind that first of all you will turn on this key, turn on the circuit. Keep in mind that this voltmeter must be connected parallel to this tungsten filament so that it measures the potential difference. You should also check that this M meter must be connected in series with the tungsten filament so that it should measure the current correctly. You can take this book from the store or free downloading from my website. These readings are given as a reference. Your readings may be different from these readings. Thank you.